So breast augmentation is one of the most popular surgeries here. Uh, patients come in for the initial consultation. Uh, we talk about their goals with regard to size. Um, we take some measurements. And I think an essential part is uh, trying on the sizers. Uh, we spend time you know, trying on different sizers. Patients then put their clothes back on, do things with the clothes off to sort of determine what size is going to fit their frame, what's going to accomplish their goals. We, we talk about implant type, we talk about implant profile, we talk about placement of the implant, typically under the muscle, we talk about incisions for the placement. So it's a pretty comprehensive consultation, but patients leave with a, with a comprehensive plan for what we're going to do to achieve their goals. So my typical approach to a breast augmentation is with, through a small incision in the crease under the breast. Uh, that gives me direct visualization of the muscle that I want to lift. It gives me ability to see the pocket directly. It gives me ability to control any small blood vessels that might be uh, problematic for us. Um, the second component is I put the implant under the muscle uh, for just about every patient. I think that gives extra support to the implant. It gives more longevity to the result. And it also decreases some of the potential complications, including that of capsular contracture. And then, as far as the implant type, I use both saline implants and silicone implants. I use them interchangeably based on patients' goals and concerns, and I think they can both work well. We talk about, I talk with patients about their breast tissue, the quality of the breast tissue, the volume of the breast tissue, and that does help to guide us in a direction of which implant will serve them best. So recovery time for breast augmentation is about a week. I think patients can go back to work a little bit quicker if they want to. The main issue is there's some tightness of the chest. The muscle's been stretched. It's very happy before breast augmentation, flat against the chest wall. We place an implant there. It's stretched and, and makes patients feel like their arms are a little bit tight. But typical recovery is about a week. Go back to work and then you're back in the gym doing legs and core stuff in a week or two weeks and then back to full function by three weeks. It's one of the procedures that's the least amount of time in the operating room, one of the quickest recoveries, and because of that it just is a, a very nice experience for patients. So the same place you go for your consultation is where you go for your surgery and you see some of the same people, some of the same familiar faces. Not having to go to a hospital and coming here and being able to sit in the preoperative room with a loved one, uh, seeing faces that you're already familiar with, has just changed the experience for patients drastically. So it's, it's become a very calm, happy day, as stress-free as a surgery day can be. Breast augmentation patients are some of the happiest patients. Uh, it's, a, it's a short surgery. It, there's some discomfort afterwards, but it's not uh, real significant. It passes quickly. And then patients are truly able to wear some of those things that they couldn't before, you know, fit to the bikini that they wanted to before, feel more confident on the beach, feel more confident in, in patients who come in before their wedding because they want to fill their wedding dress differently. It's, it's a, a, a fantastic procedure, a short procedure, it's a very safe procedure. It's something that we do very frequently here at Shaddock's Plastic Surgery.